Hi coaches, um, so we've just released a new multi-angle feature for those with the Elite Team platform. Uh, get in touch though if you want to upgrade or uh, take on this feature. So you can add multiple angles to any um, match in your library. The way to do it is if you have the feature switched on, you'll see this multi-angle tab. So you grab your files and drop them in here or um, as a file, or you can do it via a URL for each of the uh, angles if you're getting them from an online source. Okay, once you've done that, you'll stack them. So I've got four different angles here uh, for the same game. If I can now click on multi-angle, so I can either join them, which we know about, can upload them individually, um, or I can add them as multiple angles. I just need to give the name an analysis. So this is um, a Super 6 final um, in Scotland. What's the name versus air? Um, so I'll just give it that title. And then I've got the um, behind here view. Um, I've then got this angle I'm just going to rename and call it wide. This one I'm going to rename and call it tight. And this one I'm going to rename, and that's the television coverage. So I'm just going to call it, let's call it telly. All right. Uh, so I've just renamed these angles. Here I've got four, and I'm saying that the behind the sticks is my default angle. Okay, I can change that though. I can see actually I quite like to have the wide angle as my default. So I can just change them around. Once I'm happy with that, I just start the upload and they'll um, upload onto the platform um, as one video with multiple angles. Okay, so what you'll see now in my library is I've got one, two, three, four angles uploading. So I've still got these uploading um, as you can see here in the tab that's open for the uploading. And I've got to keep that there until the files have uploaded uh, to the platform and are going into the processing stage. Um, so they'll just keep spinning like that until they get to processing. And then it will uh, start to show you a progress bar um, for the processing stage. So now that all the angles have um, uploaded here, I can close this window. And then in this area, you'll see that I'm starting to get an understanding of where they are at in the processing stage. So the wide, the behind, the tight, and the television coverage, okay? So once that completes the circle, they'll all be ready and able to go into that and I'll show you how, how it looks once you're in the video player. Okay, so the game's now available for me um, in the video uh, player. So you'll see that I've got these different um, angles here, my tight, my behind, my wide, I can just scroll down and get the telly one, which will be multi-angle. multi, multi -angle. Um, So, and then I've got an XML uploaded here. So a lot of the teams that will use this will actually be using a different analysis software um, so that they can tag live and then upload that afterwards. Um, so I've got that there, but you can use it with the coach logic analysis uh, system as well. So it's all good. Um, so if I want to get to a scrum, I can click on the scrum attack there as usual. Um, and that'll take me to that scrum attack. From here, You've got the normal options, but I can check different angles. So if I want to get that from a wide perspective to see the back line, I can click on that and it'll take me to that point in the game. Instead of clicking through like that, I can just use the actual um, thing just to click through. So um, just keep clicking that to then change the different angles back to tight uh, as well to pull it down a bit. Um, so that's it. And then you've got the usual um, options on there, um, if you see anything you like, you can create a clip, uh, you can send a clip, you can add clips to the playlist, uh, but it gives you the ability now to move between the different angles as you watch the game. Okay, cheers, thanks, bye.